Hey, welcome back to Veteran. Mr. Vetter here coming at you with another gear review. This gear review is on a pretty cool flashlight. Now, not everybody can afford a Streamlight or a Surefire flashlight. Some people live on a budget and need to be able to get something good that's affordable and I think this fit the bill for a lot of people that are in that situation. A lot of people out there, they purchase MMP Sport 2 ARs because let's face it, a lot of people cannot afford to get a $2,000 Daniel Defense rifle. So let's go over this. This is a $36.99 flashlight. Give you guys a look at the box. That's what the front looks like, side, rear. It is made in China. And here's a look at some of the specs right here. All right, let's get in a box, get the contents out. Here's a look at what comes in the box. Uh, you get some instructions, and just so you guys know, full disclosure, this is not an unboxing. I've already been in the box. I've already had this mounted. But I want to, in all fairness, show you guys what it looks like when you get it. So this is exactly what it looks like. You get two batteries. You get a home charging where you charge one battery at a time. You have one in the light functioning and you have one always on standby on a charger. The flashlight itself is right here. Here's a good look at it. Let's look at the front. It's a one of two caps. This is a push button tail cap. This flashlight is not adjustable so there's no adjustment here. It's a three position light. It's either on, off, or momentary. Those are the three positions to put the batteries in. You just remove the tail cap, insert the battery, close it back up with your tail cap of choice. This light is a 1200 lumen light. It's waterproof and it's a really great light. It has a really good throw. So that's a look at the light. Here's the M lock mount, pretty cool mount. Uh, I'll actually show you guys uh, how to mount this. Here's a look at the rear and lock screws. Four secure and screws to secure your flashlight to the mount. It comes with an extra set of uh, T-nuts for the M lock and it comes with a uh, supply hex wrench. You get a lanyard uh, to carry your light if you don't want to use it as a WML, a weapons mounted light. You can uh, use it as an EDC light. You can throw this lanyard right here on the tail cap. This is your second tail cap option. You have a uh, pressure switch here with multifunction. You have a momentary side of the pressure switch, which I'm pressing right now. And then you have uh, a second switch on the pressure switch where you could press it down to engage the light where it's on all the time. One click on, one click off. You know, in a fight or flight situation, there's a uh, situation where you might need to use deadly force. You need to be able to see what you're engaging before you pull that trigger. You can't take back what's coming out of the business end of the barrel once you uh, pull the trigger. So be smart, guys. Be smart. All right, so let's uh, get into this install. Just going to show you guys. I'm going to mount it here. All you do to loosen up the T-nuts, drop it into your end lock barrel, just like that. Give a quick couple turns, you'll fill it snug up and move right over to the next one. Just that quick, we have it mounted to the rifle. You guys can see that. All right, so let me show you guys what it looked like with the light install. And for the sake of speed, I'm just going to mount the light using two screws on this mount this is just to speed up the video so you guys don't have to uh, watch me sit here and torque down four screws I think you guys will get the gist this is how you move it disassemble it pull the light out the box you just take your WML, weapons mounted light, drop it in place, and you take your supplied hardware, just torque it down. This is anodized aluminum, so 
you don't have to worry about rust or any of that you have a nice neural surface on the light that's great for gripping I will hit some of the specs here in a second I wrote them on the back of the box some points that I would like to cover so stand by that's coming up here in a second alright better hits that's what it looked like when it's mounted and in place you could take have your magazine in place you could engage it like this this is the way I like to run it or you could use your pressure switch you could move this anywhere on the M-Lock rails you know you could even mount it down below and once you uh, get it mounted you're welcome to put that uh, pressure switch anywhere you like I just want to give you guys a quick look at it here's a look from the bottom front view rear view top down it's nice uh, low profile it's out of the way this is the way I like to run it I like to use the engage the switch myself I could do it momentary or I could engage it and turn it fully on so you have the option you guys can't hear anything got audible click but I am engaging a switch and I could do it manually this way I like to run it this way but some people like pressure switches so you do have this option which is a great option okay let's get into some of the spec this is a great budget friendly option for people that can't afford the really expensive uh, stream lights and surefire lights this whole complete setup is $36.99 you have anodized aluminum the flashlight and the mount flashlight is waterproof you don't have to worry about rust uh, this is a m-lock mount as we already discussed now this light is made by Phyland Tactical. This is a 1200 lumens light. There's no strobe feature, SOS, or any of that. So it's made strictly for tactical and EDC. You get out, you throw the, turn the light on, it'll throw a beam out to 200 meters uh, at 1200 lumens. So that's what you're looking at. The batteries, these are 200 milliamp batteries. It's the 18650 battery. This uh, flashlight has a six hour runtime. Really awesome, I love that. Uh, it comes with a one year warranty. You get extra T-nuts for your M-Lock rail. Feature rich, that's how I like my gear. Feature rich, baby. All right, hey, that's gonna wrap this video up. Uh, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Those thumbs up really help the channel. I also wanna remind you guys to don't forget to thank your local LEO, your local first responders, and your local military personnel. Those are the true American heroes. I'm going to give this product two thumbs up. And last but not least, I'd like to plug one more company. This company is by no way, shape, or form affiliated with this channel. But I just got back from a Freedom Hunters hunt. I'd like to give uh, Anthony Pace and the team over there at Freedom Hunters a, a big, huge shout out. I went on a waterfowl hunt for veterans. Uh, they do things for uh, combat veterans, uh, wounded veterans veterans with PTSD. Doesn't matter if you're Coast Guard, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Army. I'd want to give those guys a huge shout out. Yeah, that waterfowl hunt with uh, other veterans, like-minded people. It was just amazing. I really enjoyed it. All right, guys. Hey, that's going to do it. Mr. Vetter, out here.